here's a quick shot of my orange tree that uh, my sister gave me from their trip to Florida a few years ago. I, I, I don't know what's going to happen with this. It, it had some trouble for a couple years actually. I started spraying it and it's doing a little bit better. So I think I'll just keep spraying it and hopefully maybe next year I'll have some blossoms on it. It hasn't, hasn't ever blossomed. Uh, here's a quick shot of the compost. Uh, I won't show you inside there got two little pine trees I'm trying to give away okay here's my latest is the blackberry I've got it on a, a drip irrigation and uh, I've got three cultivars of that I've got the uh, washadas and they seem to do well down here uh, this one is the uh, this is a Navajo this Navajo is it's another thornless as is the washada all thornless uh, the the Navajo uh, they say has the sweetest berry uh, the Wachatas are the largest of the round type berries there's another Wachata 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 a bunch of Wachatas because I heard they do real well down here this is an Arapaho uh, this one is uh, known for small seeds the smallest of the seed uh, so I got one of those, another washada, another washada, and another washada. And I, I have some room for maybe, maybe three more, uh, two more, maybe down at <coughs> down at that end. Uh, I could do uh, two more, and I might go with uh, uh, something like a triple crown or Kiowa. I'm not sure. But uh, my understanding is, is if you can get several different varieties or cultivars, I don't know if I'm saying that right, uh, then you get cross-pollination and the fruit seems to do better. I've got tea posts every, uh, I don't know how many feet, those, those are every 10 feet apart, but they're not 10 feet from the end posts. From the end posts, they're more like 12 or 14 feet. But uh, I wanted to get uh, spots for 12 plants. And I've just put three plants in between each T post. And I've got some 9 gauge galvanized wire with uh, uh, held tight with tensioners. I've got some uh, tensioning devices here at each end. And I've got my irrigation capped off right here. And it's all just tie wrapped. Uh, I haven't even clipped the ties, but it's tie wrapped to the lowest wire and then I've got drip tubing with uh, little adjustable emitters on each plant and they're staked in so they shouldn't move I don't have any mulch or anything yet this is just garden mix it's uh, raised bed piled up and uh, I did that for drainage they did they they like good drainage so uh, this is a shot of the end post and the T posts with the plants in between and at this end I got another 4x6 pressure treated with uh, tensioning devices and, and at each end I did a uh, I had some of these um, footings that I had reclaimed from another part of the yard and uh, they already had bolts sorry about the, the noise there they already had bolts so I just bought a little uh, I don't even know what you call that but it's an anchor and uh, I put the wire through a little, uh, oh, I don't even know what you call this little device. Uh, anyway, I put the wire through there. It's a strain relief, I guess, and uh, twisted it a few times. And I've got that wire. That's my guy wire. I've got it going up to another tensioning device to a stainless steel eye bolt. And that's all the way through. And uh, if I need to, I can click it and tighten it up. Same with these. Um, I was able to, I had to take this tensioner apart and uh, squeeze it a little bit to get it to go through this eye bolt. There's a little gap in the eye bolt and I just, uh, after I got the uh, frame of the tensioner through the eye bolt, then I put the tensioner back together, the little cog and all the little gears and stuff, spring, put it back together and then uh, that's what I'm using to put tension on the wire they do loosen over time um, if you look around on YouTube you'll you'll find that out and so you got to put something on there 
and that's what my uh, local tractor supply had for tensioning devices so that's what I got uh, but anyway that's my uh, an update on my blackberries uh, had to put the uh, had to puppy proof it because the puppy she uh, well here's proof uh, she uh, she will chew anything and everything and we have two dogs the other one she's very good this one here she's uh, she needed a little restraint so I've got a bought a, a bunch of chicken wire yeah chicken wire and uh, some fiberglass poles and I've got some rebar down there in between the fiberglass poles. I didn't have enough fiberglass poles, uh, really, uh, but they're they're adequate. They do a good job. And then for I, I, didn't, I didn't make a gate, but for a gate, what I ended up doing is I just bent a piece of uh, baling wire, made this sort of a shape here, and I've got the string attached to the fence, and it kind of holds it up. And if you if you disconnect it it flops down and you can step over it so that's my that's my makeshift uh, gate uh, at the ends I just wrapped it around a piece of uh, one by and screwed that into a four by four fence post so anyway that's my uh, that's my blackberry patch this is a, a two wire trellis system I've got the, the first wire at three feet and the second wire at five feet you can find more information about that online uh, if you're interested just uh, send me a message and I'll shoot you a little uh, plan or something if I have time anyway hope you like this uh, blackberry update I'll post another one when I get some uh, some growth I'm doing a drip irrigation on this so hopefully it'll they'll do pretty good in the heat talk to you later